In this example, I just have a horizontal scroll view with an H stack and a bunch of colored rectangles in here. And as you can see, I can just scroll them regularly. But now I want to implement a way where they snap to the edge of the screen whenever I release the scrolling. So right now I'm not even touching the trackpad or the screen if this were an actual iPhone, but I wanted, uh, wanted to automatically align with the edge of the screen. This is called snap to scroll and there are just a few steps that you need to take, two steps that you need to take and then some more customization that you can do uh, in addition to that. So the first thing you need to do is to define a scroll target behavior for your scroll view. So it is important that you attach this view modifier to the scroll view trailing closure or to the scroll view itself. There are different scroll target behaviors, but we are using view aligned in order to align the view with the scroll view. But as you can see, nothing actually changed. I can still scroll to arbitrary places in this scroll view. That's because we now have a scroll target behavior, but the scroll view doesn't know which stack or um, which layout container inside of it is actually responsible for this view aligned target behavior. So for that, we need to attach the scroll target layout view modifier to the layout that we want to be the scroll target. So in this case, we have an H stack and I want the children of this H stack to be used for our uh, snap to scroll. So it is important to add a behavior to the scroll view and the target layout to the H stack. Of course, this would work exactly the same in a uh, vertical scroll view with a V stack, for example. But now you can see I can release the scrolling anywhere and it will automatically snap to the edge of the screen going both directions. So this was super easy to set up just with two lines of code. The important thing is to remember target layout for the stack target behavior for the scroll view. Now there's one more thing we can do to make this a little more fancy and that is to avoid the view to stick to the edge of the device. Maybe we want some padding in here. Using the padding modifier might be an option um, for your scroll view itself, but uh, iOS 17 introduced in addition to the target layout and target behavior a new API called content margins for scroll content. And then here we can define some margins, so some inset. As you might know from web development, paddings are basically added to the outside of a view, but margins are added to the inside of a view, which means that the scroll view actually still goes from edge to edge here, but the content of the scroll view are inset by 16 points in this example, which now means that if we have snap to scroll, this blue rectangle now doesn't snap to the edge of the screen. It snaps to 16 points away from the edge of the screen, which means that we still have a nice little preview of the yellow rectangle here. This is a nice UX feature, so your users actually know that there is more content that they can scroll for. So this is the three-step process to setting up snap to scroll for your scroll views in iOS 17. You can make this even more fancy by applying the container relative frame modifier. And if you're interested in how that modifier works, leave a comment down below and I'll make a video on that topic as well.